Last minute moments.
We are here today because Walter and Beth believe that it is the will of God that they be together and wish us to be their witnesses. They come to this decision to marry because life together means more than life apart. Although the road together will sometimes be steep and rocky, sometimes gentle and smooth, they are bound by the belief and the commitment that their paths lie together. And that as each one seeks to know their own true way, those ways will be one. Our hope for Beth and Walter is this. May they value the journey more than the end, the moment more than the future. May they search together with humility, for the right path is not always the first one taken. May they search together with faith, for they will always find the way. The will of God is manifest in the world. May they listen quietly, knowing that where they are is where they should be, and go in peace and go with joy. If I speak with the tongue of humankind and of angels, and have not love, I am a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. And if I have the gift of foretelling the future and hold in my mind all human knowledge, and if I have the absolute faith that that which, that which will move mountains, but have not love, I amount to nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor, and have not love, I gain nothing. Before love I know only in part, but with love I shall understand fully, and I am fully understood. The belief that Beth and Walter have, that they are meant to be together, that we who know them have watched them grow, that belief springs from love. Love is the wish for the good of the other, above the good of self and the craving for companionship of the other. Love brings the power to hurt and the responsibility not to hurt. Love is patient and kind. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It is not possessive, nor is it easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. It is glad when what is right prevails. Love always protects and always hopes, always trusts, always perseveres. Love never fails. But as for prophecy, it will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For knowledge is imperfect, and prophecy is imperfect. But when love, that, is per that which is perfect, comes, the imperfect will pass away. Yes, it's faith, hope, and love abide. These three, and the greatest of these, is love. May Beth's and Walter's riches be those which moth and rust do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal, that where their treasure is, there will their heart be also. The world has little to bestow when two fond hearts in equal love are joined. A meaningful marriage is a relationship that continues to grow. Each takes part in nurturing that relationship. In order to grow together, the two people have to grow individually. Marriage is the union of two people committed to the process of their own becoming. The relationship is the fountain of nourishment for who each one is individually. 
there are times when each needs to be alone. And there are differences which you have to revel in. Instead of getting disgusted sometimes. Marriage grows up. Marriage grows out of an intimate sharing of two lives. A sharing that nurtures the couple's life together. Both grow to understand the other, not only to understand the words that come from each other's lips, but the feelings and aspirations that stir in each other's hearts. Knowledge of another, of another grows from caring, caring so much that the other person's feelings and thoughts are as important as one's own feelings and thoughts. Will you, Walter, uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Rogan, have this woman, Elizabeth Grace Elder, to be your wife? To commit your life to her, will you love her and nurture her and honor her? Will you share all life has to offer? Your hopes and your dreams, your achievements and your disappointments with her for this day and forward? I will. Will you, Elizabeth Grace Elder, have this man, Walter Joseph Rogan, to be your husband? Will you commit your life to him? Will you love him and nurture him and honor him? Will you share all life has to offer? Your hopes and your dreams, your achievements and your disappointments with him from this day forward? I will. I will now ask all who of those here that are family and friends to express your support for Beth and Walter in their lifelong commitment to each other. And you may stand as you are able and we'll say something. Will all of you here, as Beth's and Walter's community of family and friends, support Walter and Beth in their commitment to each other? If you will, say, I will. I will. Thank you. Would you please be seated? This ring is a symbol of unity in which your lives are joined together in one complete circle, unbroken circle. And wherever you go, you will always find yourself coming back to your togetherness. This is my beloved and this is my friend. This is my beloved, and this is my friend. Walter and Beth have vowed to be loyal and loving <clears throat> toward each other in our presence, and we bear witness to this in the ceremony they ha that they have performed, the ceremony that has made them husband and wife. Our prayer for Beth and Walter is this. Let them know God's will. Let them have the grace to follow it. May their journey be long and serene. And may they find peace along their path together. My friends and family, in the belief that it is God's will, and under the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I present to you as husband and wife, Dr. Walter Joseph Rogan and Miss Elizabeth Grace Elder.
it I'm for you. Right, you have to slide her Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. That was a good view, but I couldn't find it. You're not you. reading in there, you just don't want it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to offer a toast to Beth and Walter. Let me say that uh, I started out thinking about this toast a few months back and I made the horrible mistake of looking through uh, many famous uh, quotes on marriage and love. And it seems like uh, most uh, witty and famous people have a lot of uh, sarcastic, <laughs> negative things to say about uh, marriage. But you won't get that from me. Um, I think marriage and love are two of the best things that there are. And that's why I'm very happy that you two found each other. I, have a, I do have a quote from a, this is an obscure uh, mental patient from something like here. <laughs> The world is filled with folly and sin, and love must cling where it can, I say. For beauty is easy enough to win, but one isn't loved every day. So with that, let me wish you a, a long and happy marriage. Cheers! Cheers. discussing this with our son Pat, uh, we talked a lot about what I ought to say, and he suggested that uh, I ought to just get up and say, uh, Walter is so nice, you wish he was your brother. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I'm thinking I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, somebody else. We're going to start with a break. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if anyone else would like to come forward and speak their piece, this, is, uh, this would be the time. Look at you, Jack So look at you, that's nice. Hold on here. Romantic Never a muscle city. We're in a romantic love. Romantic love. I think we ought to put the North 40 in soybeans. That's right. <laughs> Plans now. That's right. about the farm. Right. Well, I didn't tell you about those chickens. It's hard to smell. It's so cold on here. I didn't tell you about those chickens. Oh, how about a kiss? Oh, so good, Andrea. Very nice. That's nice. She's hanging out. She's gonna. We're gonna lose her. You want to kiss? Any kiss? <laughs> you guys were very, uh, very uh, self-possessed. You were excellent, really. Really? I was holding it together until so one, of the, so we one of the first cousins <laughs> in the line. Somebody saw my leg shaking. I thought you liked shaking. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you look good. What do I get to the door with the light on you? This is really actually with the light coming in this way. Nice. You get to be in the same picture now. That's a picture of me. Okay. Right. Right. Anybody want to take a picture of me? Your, uh, fork. 
Uh, <laughs> even though he's a little now. bit, I had I had I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a strat. <laughs> Am I on camera here? This has been a wonderful wedding, a wonderful um, event, a wonderful, wonderful celebration of two uh, lovely people, and we wish you the very best. God bless you. Well, we'd like to bless Walter and, and Beth and thank them for having us down here. We're having a wonderful time. It's a beautiful area. We just hope to God that they have a wonderful marriage in the future. <laughs> He's drunk, don't take him! A lot, no, of, I'm I'm a lot of wonderful twists there. Have a happy new year and a wonderful marriage. He's, he's the spokesperson. He is very He's in the family the longest. <laughs> Food was good. <laughs> we had Where's the have beef? a good marriage. We yeah, looked at all I can say. One, one person he grew up on a farm. Uh, I don't know if you remember. Uh, I'll beat him up later. Are you beat each other the first place? Uh, okay, you take that side. You take that side. And then we'd like, uh, 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 we'd like
That's how you start. Right hand and right hand, get prominent anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking through one more time with this person and then we'll dance. Okay. Face this person and do a right hand turn. Right hand up, shake, thumb up. One time around, back by the left. Two hand turn.
last one in the middle. <laughs>
That's good. <laughs> to get in and drive. I thought you guys were going to hide it. Did you forget? I give up. Did they forget to hide it? Yeah, they just drove it up for I give up. Okay. I got to push up.